And now your exclusive Storm Team 3 forecast from KTVO. Mild temperatures to continue. A chance of rain on Sunday, but of course we are watching that storm system. It's going to be bringing us a chance of snow early next week. We did see a lot of sunshine for today, but now we're starting to see those clouds rolling in from the west. And that's going to continue to stay with us throughout the evening hours and overnight. But those temperatures, very mild today. Right now, 41 degrees and mostly clear skies at the Kirksville Regional Airport. A little breezy, winds are out of the south-southeast at around 13 miles per hour. Very nice in a time with 40 degrees, winds are out of the south at around 14 miles per hour. So again, we'll start to see some clouds increasing throughout the overnight hours. They'll stick with us as we're heading throughout the day on Saturday. But we do have a little disturbance up to the north. It's going to continue to affect us as we're heading throughout the morning hours on Sunday with a slight chance for some showers, mainly during the morning and very early afternoon hours uh, with some cloudy skies. But those temperatures, uh, where that's what we're going to be talking about for the next couple of days because they are going to be close to 10 to 15 degrees above average for this time of year. 34 degrees at 3 in the morning, right at the freezing mark. 32 degrees at 7 in the morning on Saturday. So again, our average for this time of year is about 34 degrees. We're going to be about 10 to 15 degrees warmer for Saturday and Sunday. Still above average as we're heading back to work and school Monday and Tuesday. Uh, but slightly cooler than over the weekend, and that's because we do have that storm system that's going to be bringing us a chance of snow. The real question is, where is it going to be tracking? Because right now, that low-pressure system is still into the Pacific Northwest, uh, or, or the Pacific Ocean right now. As it continues to get closer, it's not actually going to make landfall until on Sunday, the California coastline. That's the real question. As this continues to push eastward, is it going to track more north or south? If it stays to the north, we're going to get lesser amounts. If it tracks a little bit farther south, well, that's where we're going to get a little bit more snow. Here, I want to show you a couple of the models that we kind of look at because we do talk about the models uh, forecasting. And this is the European model. This is anywhere from one and a half inches from Macon to around four and a half inches in uh, southeast Iowa. Now, Look at the GFS future cast model. Big difference here. Four and a half inches in Kirksville, 11 inches in Ottumwa. So again, the track of the storm system, uh, we're not going to know that yet until about Sunday or Monday because it's going to be changing between now and then. We've got four to five days yet for this storm system to move in. It's January into early February. We are going to get snow depending upon the track of the storm system, how much snow. Again, we'll keep you updated on this as the time comes closer to the storm system. 31 degrees as your overnight low for tonight with partly cloudy skies. Winds are out of the west 5 to 10 miles per hour. Highs on Saturday, 49 degrees. Very nice. Southeast winds 5 to 10 and partly sunny skies. The extended five-day forecast, 44 degrees on Sunday with a 30% chance of showers. 39 on Monday. Tuesday, 37 degrees with an 80% chance of a rain-snow mix. And then as temperatures fall, that will be changing to snow. It'll be out of here Wednesday, 22 degrees, though. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at KTVO.com. So enjoy the weekend mm -hmm. because, one, we are going to get a chance for uh, some little bit of a wintry mix as well as snow, depending upon that track of the storm system, as okay. well as those temperatures, depending upon how colder it gets and the changeover to the snow. So a lot of things go into to play mm -hmm. on how much snow or how little snow we get. And only time will tell, right? Yes. All right. Thanks, Teresa. Come